<laughs> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And we're going back to London because my video didn't work and I've been having some technical difficulties and I've kind of narrowed it down. So hopefully we're back on the right track here. So um, back to London and so it gave me an excuse to do a complete Charlotte Tilbury look. And so whenever I get an excuse to do that, I'm like, yeah. I'll do that. No problem. No problem. And so, um, yeah, she's uh, based in the UK. And so Charlotte's beautiful skin, I have mine in, um, let's see, Cool Light 3. And so that's what I have on for my base. I have the Pretty Fresh concealer on from ColourPop as well. And then as far as going ahead and doing my bronzer, I went ahead and used the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. So this is in light to medium. And so this is the bronzer that I went ahead and used. And then I did go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk Blush. So yeah, that's what I went ahead and used there as far as what I have on my face and very very pretty blush. I've always liked it. It does come off kind of different. Sometimes it'll go really peachy on me and other times like right now it's going really nude. So it's a really good blush and it's more versatile than I thought that it was. <laughs> and uh, Let's see as far as my highlighter I did go ahead and use the Hollywood or the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury as well. So here we go with that. That's what I have on as far as the highlighter. And um, as far as the lip I went ahead and used again Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. And these are uh, the yeah, the many sizes that they usually sell during the holidays. So, yeah, that's Walk of No Shame right there. And then I went ahead and added some of the Tower 28 gloss on top of that. So it kind of came out like this. And for our London part, um, I went ahead and used the uh, Love in London, which is um, the BH Cosmetics. And of course, I went ahead and packed it all up. So Love in London. Um, if you find this one, definitely go ahead and pick it up. It's a great one over on the BH Cosmetics website or Ulta. And I know that they have, um, that they were bought out by Revolution and now they have some new products out on their website so I haven't tried those yet but I know that this one has been a favorite of a lot of people for a long time. Um, I've had it but I have to admit that these aren't really the colors that I've been going for. I mean they're beautiful, they blend well, the formula is great and they are definitely a power, yeah, power palette right here. So um, if you did, yeah, if you want to do a power look, this would definitely go there. I didn't try to do a power look. Um, I went ahead and used this one, which is a light pink on my lid. And then I went ahead and used that one uh, right on the brow bone. And then I think I'll go ahead and add a little bit of this on the inner corner and right under the brow. And so here we go. Okay, so there we go. A little bit more. A uh, little bit more glow there. So yay! And um, went ahead and used the um, <clears throat> the ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in blue. Um, just try to do a really light line just to give it a little bit of uh, definition. And so uh, this is what the London look sort of looked like and came out to be. This is how the eye look came out. So there's that. And then I did want to go ahead and show you um, some of the mesotherapy that I've been doing. And I'll go ahead and get that right now. 
So with mesotherapy, it's all about pointing putting moisture water back into your skin and so um, the rollers uh, that you can get done you can buy these off of Amazon or you can get this professionally done and you just uh, it's a 0.5 millimeter and you roll it a little bit and then do some of this and in my case I use the Hato Lavo premium um, hyaluronic acid serum it's not um, it gives me a little bit of a puffy, poofy look, which I kind of like sometimes. Um, so definitely add some hydration back into the skin. Uh, with mesotherapy, they have therapies where you can get your whole face done just in like um, a whole bunch of different... Uh, you can do the uh, peptides, you can do the stem therapy, there's a whole bunch of different serums. Uh, some folks use whitening serums, it depends what country you live in. And so you can um, get all sorts of serums put into your skin. And some of it takes downtime. If you have it professionally done all over your face, it would definitely take downtime. But you can use therapy to put moisture like into the back of your hands and all sorts of things. So it's a newer therapy. Um, it isn't, yeah, it isn't mentioned as much. Even, even in circles where people are, you know, doing a lot of therapy and alternative therapies that still isn't mentioned very much. So if you're interested, I would say get on the web, um, you know, just even Google mesotherapy and see who the providers are in your area and what they can recommend. Um, definitely check with your doctor or dermatologist if you have any questions. I'm not a medical person, um, but it definitely has, uh, it's a whole area that we haven't even really, you know, gone into depth in. So uh, I think it's really interesting and exciting um, to to find out what's going on. And so uh, that's one of the therapies that definitely, as you're getting older, and as we're all getting older, we can check into. So um, yeah, and uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's a video, and thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye.